How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking barbecue chicken legs, but we're doing a battle of old school versus new school. Now the newest trend is a lot of people are butterflying their chicken legs and cooking them that way. They're saying it allows more texture, quicker cooking, and a better overall eating experience. Now I'm a big fan of barbecue chicken, so I'm really excited to test this theory out. So let's bring in and show you how we're gonna prep our barbecue chicken legs. All right, so here's our chicken legs and for the old school ones, we're just gonna keep them very simple. And for the quote unquote new school ones, all we're gonna do is just butterfly these. So we're just finding the bone here, taking a sharp knife and just getting in there and slicing right down. We just wanna find the bone and slice on either side of it like so. And there you go, that's what it's gonna look like. Nice and butterflied. We've got our skin up here. We're gonna get it nice and seasoned up. And these are definitely gonna cook quicker than these ones, but I'm saving the smaller ones for the old school method. So hopefully they'll get done around the same time. But yeah, pretty simple. So I'm gonna get the rest of these trimmed up and I'll bring you back. All right, and there we go. We have all three of our new school ones ready to go. So I'm just gonna flip those over. And now I'm just gonna come in with our seasoning. We're gonna be using Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub as the base rub. So we'll just season these up with a light layer, flip them over, hit the other side. Next, we're gonna come in with my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle Rub. And we're just gonna repeat the process. And if you haven't tried this combination on chicken, I highly recommend it. It is a game changer, award winner, whatever you wanna call it. It's fantastic. All right, so now the idea behind this concept is, is we're gonna get a little more texture. We're gonna get a little more crispiness on these butterflied ones. And then these are just your run of the mill barbecue chicken, which I happen to love. So it'll be interesting to see which one's better. But for now, we're gonna get these out onto the Lone Star Grills pellet grill. I got it set for 300 degrees, and we're just gonna let these go. I'll come out and check them after a half hour, probably flip them over, just so everything's cooking evenly. Then once they're close to getting done, we'll sauce them up and let that sauce caramelize on it and give it a taste test and see which one's better, old school or new school barbecue chicken. I'm excited to try these, so let's get out to the Lone Star Grills. All right, so we have the Lone Star Grills running. It's firing up to 300. I'm just gonna get these on now because in my opinion, can't get them on too early. So I'm gonna get these ones right there. And I kind of have them over here, which is the fire pot, which is just gonna be a little bit hotter, which is fine. And then I'm gonna take the skin side and go down on these, just so we can get try and get that skin extra nice and crispy. If you wanted to do this over direct flames or you know a kettle or a PK grill or something like that, you definitely could. It'd be some good flavor on there. But we're just running on the Lone Star today. I just wanna keep everything nice and simple and just see which chicken is better. You can see it's looking nice and good, so I'm gonna get this shut down. We'll come back and check it in about 30 minutes, see how they're looking, give them a flip, maybe check the temperature. I don't know how long these are gonna take, so we're just gonna kinda play it by ear. The nice thing about the these drumsticks is they can withstand a higher temperature, 180, 190, 200 degrees. They're still gonna be delicious due to all the fat content in there. We wanna get this skin nice and crispy. So we will see you guys in about 30 minutes. All right, so it has been 30 minutes running at 300 degrees. We're just gonna get these chicken legs flipped over. You can see we have some nice crispiness on there. These are looking awesome. Just gonna get them all flipped over. Yeah, those look really, really good. Nice smoke rolling in there. Let's just check the temp, see where we're at. About 144 degrees in these, and about 149 in these. So really, 148 there. So really not that much difference, which is kind of surprising. I was anticipating that these were gonna be a little bit higher, but hey, that's all right. So I'm just gonna give these another 30 minutes. You know, like I said, this these legs can handle the higher temperatures and they're still gonna be juicy. They're still gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna let these go another half hour. We'll get some sauce on them, let that sauce caramelize, and then we're gonna jump in and see how these are. So hey, we'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, so it has been 30 more minutes. I just tempt these. They're all at about 175, 180, which is absolutely perfect. Now now we're just gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of barbecue sauce. And I love the way this sauce smells when it hits the plate down there, it starts steaming back up. This is gonna get nice and caramelized on there. 
We'll get these flipped over and we're gonna sauce the other side now. There's nothing better in the summertime than barbecue chicken, I'm telling you right now. All right, and those are looking good. We're gonna get this cooker shut down, let them go for about five minutes, let this sauce caramelize on. We're gonna get them off, let them cool a little bit, and we're gonna dive in and do the taste test. All right, so it's been about five minutes. You can see that that sauce is looking nice and caramelized. I'm gonna get these off. We're gonna get them inside, let them cool, and I can't wait to try and see if there's a difference between old school versus new school. Yeah, that's beautiful barbecue chicken. Also looking pretty good. So I'm gonna get these in, let them cool, and we'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right guys, so it is time. New school versus old school, old school versus new school. I can't wait to try and see if there's a difference. You know I'm keeping it old school for the first taste test. Smells fantastic, nice smoke flavor from that Lone Star Grills pellet grill. You can smell the Honey Chipotle, my Ash Kickin' Barbecue Honey Chipotle, and that Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub, barbecue sauce, sticky, delicious barbecue chicken that we all know and love, especially in the summertime. Cheers. Just dripping with moisture. Like I said, these were taken to about 180 degrees. That dark meat can handle it. I mean, there's just so much moisture in these things. This is fantastic. The caramelized sauce is just chef's kiss. I absolutely love it. Now, let's go ahead and try the new school. Cheers. All right, guys, so they're both fantastic. The flavor profile is both the same. I will say that I think the old school way, just leaving them whole, these are a bit juicier. And in fact, I can guarantee there's more moisture in here. These, this thing was just oozing with moisture when I've been into it. This one's still nice and juicy. The texture is just a little bit different on the chicken and that could just be the chicken. I guess, you know, I'll try one more for sake of argument. This is a nice one, nice crispy bit here. Yeah, so there is definitely a textural difference between these two. I'm not saying it's good or it's bad either way. However, I just feel like the whole drumsticks are a little bit softer and these were temped out at about the same. So, I don't know. The new school method, I will say, is a little bit easier to eat because everything is on one side of the bone. You don't gotta sit and fight around the bone. You can just take a nice big bite and get a solid chunk of meat. Yeah, they both have wonderful flavor. If I'm giving it to anyone, I'm giving it to the old school method just because it is a lot juicier. But you know what? I'd really wanna try these again over direct heat. That way all these little bits and pieces can get really nice and crispy because I think the texture in there would be super, super good. You know, and you just don't get that on a pellet grill, which is fine because I like pellet grill chicken. I don't like my chicken overly smoked because smoke is an ingredient, right? So, but yeah, this is really good chicken and I'm down to try it again. If I'm giving a winner to anyone today though, it's the old school method. You know, sometimes old school is just better school and that's just how it is. So guys, go ahead, make them for yourself. Let me know which one you think is better, old school, new school. Come back, leave a comment. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.